Let's talk about hydrogen bonding and show how that occurs between two ammonia molecules as well as ammonia and water molecules. So these are all polar molecules and that's what you need for hydrogen bonding to happen. So let's simply define hydrogen bonds for us. Hydrogen bond bonding happens when you have molecules where you have a hydrogen bonded to a very electronegative element, one of these three. Fluorine being the most electronegative and then hydrogen to oxygen, which which is going to be your um, the hydrogen bonds in the water molecule, and then hydrogen nitrogen, which is going to make up the slightly weaker hydrogen bonding in the ammonia molecule. All right, so let's do the ammonia ammonia molecules first. Ammonia is NH3. So if we draw the lowest structure, you get something like this. Uh, let me go this way. And we can draw this three-dimensionally. It's trigonal pyramidal. This is called a dipole. It means it has dipoles, two poles. So this side is going to be slightly negative because nitrogen is... Let me, actually, let me draw this three-dimensionally because that then it'll, it'll be easier to see. So when you draw this using the... Okay, you got that lone pair up here. Let me go this way. You got that lone pair in that orbital there. Then you have that hydrogen about 109, 110 degrees apart. Then you have this guy coming out at you. All right, they're all tetrahedral angles. And then you got this guy kind of going behind there. Right. So this is your triangular base. And they all meet at this peak there. Okay, so it's a it's a triangle pyramid. So now you can you can see this side of them this side of the molecule is slightly negative because that nitrogen is more electronegative than the hydrogen. So it's kind of pulling all of these hydrogen elect, the single electrons from the hydrogen more toward the nitrogen side. So we have a dipole is what we call here, and we got we have many of these, right? Let's draw another one. I'll, I'll draw both ways actually. Here's your regular 2D Lewis structure of two ammonia molecules. And then what I'll we'll do is just, just copy this over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so I'll do the hydrogen bonds in a blue dotted line. Okay, so this this side is all of these sides are got just slightly positives where the hydrogens are because they're the ones kind of losing the uh, electron toward the nitrogen side. So this side, we'll just pick slightly positive, this side slightly negative, and so the hydrogen bond is going to form as that interaction. Right. And of course, you can kind of imagine what this would look like if you had countless of these. Just over here, same kind of deal. You got the negative and the positive, so this might be like that. So that blue dotted line is your hydrogen bonds. All right, let's do the same thing for uh, water molecules. Actually, it wasn't water, was it? It was water and ammonia. All right, nice. We've got the same thing here. Here's your... I'll do the 2D and the 3D. So this is ammonia. You know, let's draw the Lewis structure for the water molecule underneath it. So if you draw the Lewis structure for the water molecule, the 2D might look something like this. Got a pair there and a pair there. And then the 3D, let's go with like, hmm, you got to try to, you got a lone pair there, and then you got a lone pair there, about 100, what is that, 15 degrees, about 109. These are tetrahedral angles again, too, right? Now this this one's coming. This one's kind of coming out at you, and this one's kind of coming behind the screen. All right. 
because the oxygen is much more electronegative, okay, up here, the oxygen side of the water molecule is slightly negative. Oh, where did, here it is. So this side is going to be slightly negative, and this, the hydrogen side is going to be slightly positive. All right, and then in the 2D model, this general region is going to be They're all tetrahedral, so let's do that. This one will form a hydrogen bond with that ammonia molecule, and maybe there's another one over here. Okay. It gets really messy really fast, but there's another one right there. So the blue dotted lines, okay? You got the negative attracting the positive, the negative attracting the positive. Now, water has two areas of these negatively dense region, so we can make more hydrogen bonds. All right, so let's say this one's, try to keep these colors consistent. Okay, so that's a hydrogen bond there, and this one might form another one with a, another, I don't think I draw another one, but another one, the adjacent one next to it. All right, so there's your hydrogen bonds, would look like that in a water to ammonia interaction.